At this point, I feel we are definitely looking at the remains of the bow of the USS New Orleans. That's good. Beautiful shot. So we're just trying to figure out what this is. There's a lot of discussion that it it could be a portion of a bow of a New Orleans class ship. They're kind of curious that lines up with some of the historical records. This might just be this small portion of a bow that got blown off. So interesting. When you guys are ready and comfortable, uh, let's get ready. down and uh, do a circumnavigation around it and listening to our experts and perhaps you know taking a moment to zoom in on a diagnostic feature get a good image of it and then keep going around what confuses me is that i'm looking at a document from the expedition plan and i don't see any more cruisers of new orleans class that are listed as being sunk so i think the theory is that this is just a portion of a bow that was lost and not an entire ship so it wasn't sunk uh, it was just blown off there's some really beautiful biology here, and it you looks see, like see like a transmission or a yes. lighter. Or something. Yeah, yeah. So I was there. Thinking. There are so many ships here that were sunk during the five different naval battles across this time period. Stick with us. This is a mystery. It was an unknown target picked up from our mapping data of Drix. You know, we're really excited to be able to investigate it further initially. I'm looking at. Uh, rec photo compared to an intact photo of the USS Astoria and the Astoria is missing its bow but didn't Frank say that the bow kind of landed on the stern? On Astoria we saw the bow connected still or flipped. So the bow is not on the wreck but it's still with the wreck. That's right. Sorry. Vincent's it's separated but in the debris field. Yeah so the idea with the theory going here is that the USS New Orleans wasn't sunk, the bow was just blown off. Um, and then they steamed back to the US backwards, uh, literally in reverse across the Pacific. Looks like when the New Orleans lost her bow, that she lost her foremost turret with that as well. So maybe we'll find that in one of the yeah. adjacent pieces of wreckage. Oh yeah. That's exactly what some of our experts ashore are curious about. They'd, they'd like to see some of the pieces of the turret so I think oh, yeah, it could be. looking out for a turret and also looking out again for that anchor and, and doing some zooms on both of those. There's the anchor. Uh, you want to go ahead and uh, push in, uh, Jacob? Or how do that? Going in? Uh, if there was some ID on this anchor, where any it's, idea where that would well, be? Well, it's, it's, it's definitely a U.S. anchor is what our experts are, gonna are hold suggesting, but I don't think we have more than that for the moment. Okay, on the right fluke, there might be some writing, so we'll want to try to zoom in on that. It looks directly in front of us. I think I can see oh, some. Oh, yeah. It's an A on the right. We're all, like, see turning it. our heads. Uh -huh. Ten in the bottom center. Yeah, that's right. Uh, someone is suggesting Norfolk. One of our experts ashore thinks that that, what looks like a ten, since the writing is upside down, could be the L and the O in in Norfolk. Um, it looks like there's several lines of text. Yeah. Okay, I have the orientation. It's upside down, but look at the middle line. It says Navy Yard. I agree. Yeah. Wow. Is that a chain or something going on? Where are you looking? The, the kind of line, the linear. Yeah, kind coming dead center. Center. Less sort of in line with the bow. It is the bow. It Let's seems see. like it goes deeper than yeah, it's maybe it should, but... It looks to me like part of the, the top structure. Looks, yeah. So, likely we won't see this, but because it's so overgrown, but there might be a number. If we see a number 32 somewhere on the wreck. We'll hope that some of our experts can help give us that clue and also that there you know a lot of growth here we may not see a whole number but options potentially on this side we do have a camera on our manipulator by the way i see a uh, light spot 
on the left edge of that giant crack. I think that might be like the tip of the three as it kind of curves. It'd be in the right position. Oh, yeah. Good idea. I I feel you know we we have so much potential and and you know to to explore deep sea and yeah it's uh it's quite something to see you know I I and yeah I'm I'm glad to see everyone in kind of like a detective mode what is the you know, what is that and that is like a pretty much mindset of you know archaeologist so you know we we look at those evidence and then kind of you know try to figure out what happened there. And you know, for this case, let's say anchor is a good, you know, indication of you know what is this. And then also, you have to use all your imagination. What happening here? And yeah. So Frank, tell us what we learned. Well, uh, we had an interesting end of watch at uh, from the midnight to four watch last night. We were looking, heading to、uh, sites that had been identified by the Drix. When we looked at it, as I went off watch, we were speculating whether we had possibly found the bow structure that had been lost from the USS New Orleans during the Battle of Tassafaranga. When I came back on watch, there was far more data available from from photos and、uh, and footage. So we looked at.、Uh, Other images of the New Orleans pre-war, trying to find some distinct features that we could identify in this picture of wreckage, and we found a couple of pieces.、Uh, in particular, the way the anchor was situated in the wreckage also appeared to match up with that image of the the New Orleans、uh, pre-war. And then we saw found a picture of her in dry dock, a frontal picture bow on. And there was a kind of a distinct little indentation in the in the forward part of the、uh, the ship, and we pulled that image of the wreckage and that side by side with the image of the ship in dry dock, and it clearly matched. So, at this point, I feel we are definitely looking at the remains of the bow、uh, that were lost at、um, from the New Orleans during that battle.